morning. Just kidding, it's totally not morning. I did just wake up from a nap though, like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. My heavy's still sleeping though. We tired. Let's go check her out. Hi, could I be any more awkward? Eh, I say that literally every time I turn this thing on. I spend a lot of time on Instagram and TikTok and it's completely unhealthy, but I don't know how to stop. That's what I'm dealing with. Unless you've been living under a rock or are totally out of the loop, Taylor Swift re-recorded and released her Fearless album plus five unreleased bonus tracks and I spent the entire day yesterday listening to it. Now, I admit that I was not a Swifty in high school. No, I enjoyed her music, I did. I thought she was a great artist, but I didn't become a Swifty until probably her Shake It Off album when I realized how amazing she is. But let's not forget that Last week, Demi Lovato also released a new album, Dancing with the Devil, which was amazing. Again, I'm, I'm not a Lovatic or whatever, but this album really changed my mind about her. I did watch her documentary, both of them actually, the Dancing with the Devil one, and it's complicated, and I have a completely different perspective on her and her past that I did not have before. We're the same age. It's weird to think that I envied her and Selena Gomez and Miley Cyrus and that whole group of girls when they were on the Disney Channel. When honestly, being on the Disney Channel sounds like a rough time. So I should be thankful that I wasn't in that boat because I too would be having a rough time. If you haven't listened to Demi Lovato's new album, Dancing with the Devil, listen to it. It's amazing. My life has been rather exciting these last two weeks, which is precisely why I don't have any proof of that occurring because I find myself in exciting situations and just want to appreciate the situations. Last week, my dad's sister's family came to visit because my cousin uh, doesn't live too far from here or from where I live. She lives in the DC area as well, but we haven't been able to see each other because, you know, COVID struck as soon as she moved here. But that whole side of the family came. They're all vaccinated. I got to hang out with them and that was pretty fun because I haven't hung out with anyone besides my husband and my parents and my grandparents back when I lived in uh, Indiana briefly. I haven't hung out with anyone since July. It was really wonderful. Also, they came during the Cherry Blossom Festival, which we had a fantastic, amazing weather here. But on the other side of that, it got crazy busy here. So those were the couple of fun things that I have been doing the last week besides listening to the Taylor Swift album and Dead of the Bottles new album. But nothing tops the excitement in the last three days. And by exciting, I actually mean stressful. So. If you know anything about me, which is probably nothing, I make videos on the internet sometimes, obviously, and I edit them on my computer. And my computer is 10 years old. I got it when I started college. So something very special came in the mail yesterday. My MacBook Pro! And never upgraded it because it worked fabulously for a very long time. <sighs> well, I have been getting very frustrated with it because it's so slow, because it's old, and it crashes a lot. And so I'm like, I'm gonna get myself a new computer. Moral of the story is, is I ordered the computer from Best Buy, and it was supposed to be delivered within a day, which I was expecting it within a day, but you know, if that got dragged on, that's fine. It said it was delivered, and it was never delivered. I need to complain about something that future me will hopefully have already dealt with. I tried to replace this old guy that I got 10 years ago because it doesn't work so well anymore. And I was super excited about 
my new computer. Oh, I've never had issues with shipping or deliveries ever in my life. And apparently the most expensive item I will ever purchase in the mail <laughs> decides to break that streak of no issues. I'm very conflicted because it's like, it's not really a necessary purchase. It is a luxury purchase. I mean, I have a computer that works, but also I am afraid of the worst case scenario in which I won't get it and I also won't get a refund. So hopefully, future me, whenever you decide to use this clip, if you ever decide to use this clip, I will be blissfully happy with either my new computer or money back my bank account. <laughs> Says it's delivered, hasn't been delivered. I'm just trying to edit a freaking video. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. Funnily enough, I am editing a video about how my package never showed up on a computer. I meant to replace with the package that never showed up. I've just been sitting here waiting for it to show up at my apartment building. And somehow I don't think that's going to happen. And I'm very sad about it. And now I'm here telling you about it. Because you know, when you're stressed out, you know, you get to talk about it to no end, even though there's nothing you can do. What else should I vlog about today? I don't know, my battery is, is dying, perhaps. <laughs>